It may be an early start, but it's the highest Premiership crowd ever. Over 61,000 inside Old Trafford, a ground where Liverpool have not won for 10 years. Their last victory here, March 1990, the last season that Liverpool won the Championship, the last before the retirement of a certain Alan Hansen. And to add to the size of the task facing the modern Liverpool today, Manchester United unbeaten at Old Trafford for nearly 15 months. Well, Roy Keane passed his fitness test, but Paul Scholes didn't, so the only changes from Wednesday are up front. Fit again Dwight York and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer form the starting partnership. Andy Cole and Teddy Sheringham on the bench. Ryman van der Howe continues in goal. So we've got two Dutch goalkeepers with Sonder Westervelt there for Liverpool, for whom Steven Gerrard is suspended. Jamie Carragher moves into midfield and Vegard Hegem comes in at right back. Michael Owen is among the substitutes after playing in a practice match on Wednesday. Jamie Redknapp also took part in that. He's not quite ready to return. Robbie Fowler still some way away from full fitness. But uh, seems to be on good terms with Sir Alex Ferguson. Believe it or not, we had a light snowfall in Manchester this morning, but it's all gone now and it's sunshine at kickoff. And if you thought the early start might affect the atmosphere, there's no danger of that. It's absolutely electric inside Old Trafford as these two rivals from the northwest cross paths again. <laughs> Hunched figure there of uh, Andy Cole. It is very cold, I must say, uh, this morning. It's a good kick by the Liverpool goalkeeper. Meyer is up there, Smitsa's in there, Camera's just behind him, and here's Meyer again. He was driven a bit wide by Smitsa's pass. It's a corner, though, to Liverpool. The first of the match, and Patrick Berger will go across to take it, left-footed. From the back, Hupia and Onsho are coming forward. Jamie Carragher's there as well. And it's uh, a goal kick. Dermot Gallagher, the man in charge. Well, they know each other inside out, backwards and upside down, these two teams. It's uh, not going to be a match full of surprises, but uh, this is Keane. There could be one here. Still Roy Keane. Good block. This is Beckham. But Dwight York to Giggs. Solskjaer near post, still Ryan Giggs, and it's come back to David Beckham. Didn't hit it the first time, and it was blocked when he did. Harmon. Free kick, brought down by Dwight York. Just wondered there whether Beckham might have hit that first time. He waited, and then struck it. Meyer through the middle, comes off Yap Stam. Poor one from Van der Howe. This is Camera, goalkeeper there, with a save of his own making, really. Wasn't a very good kick, and uh, it went straight to uh, Titi Camera. Well, Liverpool have got the best defence in the Premiership, and Manchester United have the high-scoring attack. Beckham, York, Beckham gets it back, he's up against Matteo, this is Neville, Solskjaer coming in, oh that was a chance, the first clean opening of the match, Gary Neville's ball in, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer here gets away from the defenders, Liverpool's marking wasn't good, and he might have expected to do better there, <laughs> Nicky Butt with the header on, Solskjaer, York, now Giggs. It's York again. Four in the centre. Giggs, back again to York. Danger here. Oh, it was away by Matteo, and now it's Giggs. 
Well, Dominic Matteo took responsibility there. I'm not sure that Sonder Vestervelt would have got to that. The goalkeeper started to come, didn't, well, didn't need to make it, actually. Giggs in the end shot wide. Irwin on the outside, Giggs in the penalty area. Solskjaer with the header on, on show with the clearance. Two defenders with Meyer. Oh, and Yapstam held him back, surely. Free kick. Meyer did well there, he was up against uh, both centre-backs. And it was Stam here that puts his arm out, look. Now, Patrick Berger, what is it, uh, 25 yards, all of that. But with his left foot here, it means United have to form a wall, and Berger hits it! Oh, what a cracker! Absolutely first class. The left foot of Patrick Berger from the Czech Republic. And that was aimed perfectly. Oh, look at the bend on it, round the wall and going away from uh, van der Hau, who got a hands to it actually, but couldn't keep it out. And Liverpool strike first after 26 minutes. <laughs> There's no disguising the joy of Gerard Houllier. This is Harmon to Cameron. This is the best Liverpool performance I've seen for quite a while in this kind of game. This is Song. Oh, and look at Berger there. Should have been 2-0. Good save, but it was more or less straight at the goalkeeper from Patrick Berger. The man who scored the first goal here gets himself into a very good position again. He's onside, in my opinion, as the ball comes in, but they let him go, United. Van der Howe will take some credit for the save, of course. But uh, had that been better directed, well, we would have had a game on then. Meyer. And is he on? No, he's onside again, Berger. And he pulls it back here for TT Camera. Oh, what a good block. It was Gary Neville who threw himself in front of the ball, there's a flag up now, but what is going on in the Manchester United defence? Titi Camera this time, with a chance to make it two. And again, they, they're playing square and he's not offside. Berger pulls it back, and Camera here, well, no, it was actually Yapstam who had hit. Neville, who fell in front of the player, who had the shot. Camera comes off Stam. Well... Manchester United can consider themselves very fortunate to be only one goal behind. This is Silvestre coming from the back, but twice now, Berger has outfoxed them when it comes to uh, staying on side. Here's Irwin, though, and that's a foul by Song. He does tend to do that a bit, the Cameroon international, to commit fouls in dangerous territory for his side. And Dennis Irwin was brought down, and this is a real opportunity now for Manchester United to come out of a very poor spell. And Stam! Oh, don't think he got any contact, Jak Stam. He was the last man at the far post and it was arrowed towards him here by David Beckham. Number six here, coming in behind Huppia, who did enough. Nobody touched it. Gunnar Solskjaer now Keane Beckham and it's Keane again comes off Carragher and that uh, gives no further trouble to Liverpool there's an injury here it's the captain. It's Sammy Huppier, who's hurt. And this would be a real blow for Liverpool. They've played... I think Alex Ferguson would have to concede so well, Liverpool. They've been the better side overall, making 
maximum use of what possession they've had. But this would... Oh, don't quite know here. Dave Galley, the physio, has given a little signal to Gerard Houllier. And Herpier is in a lot of pain. This is happening five minutes before half-time. Oh, I think he kicks Solskjaer's foot. They're looking at their watches. Perhaps Dave Galley's saying, give me till half-time to work on uh, Sami Herpier. Forward by Berger. is Irwin and Giggs now he's pulled away again from Song Onsho's had to go across here comes Solskjaer they're appealing for handball Solskjaer goal <laughs> typical Manchester United in the second minute of stoppage time at the end of the first half they grab a goal against the ten men and Liverpool's gamble to try to get to half time to get Hoopia back hasn't paid off after all Rigobert Song here lost the geography completely. He's nowhere near Giggs. Neither at the time of asking is on show. The ball comes across and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is so adept and adroit in that position. Just stroking the ball away from Vesterveld. And he just curls it in the corner. Beautifully done. It's 1-1 here so close to half time and Liverpool down to 10 men a goal up it should have been more than one they had two great chances effectively they've lost their position in the match because Solskjaer on the stroke of half time has put the champions level unlucky Gerard Houllier his side played ever so well Berger scored missed two but the injury to Hoopier did in the end prove significant Having come out onto the pitch, Liverpool were intending to restart with Hoopier. It doesn't look now as though they're going to. And Gerard Houllier is going to bring on Danny Murphy. This, I would imagine, means that Carragher will go into the back four in place of Hoopier. Liverpool's second in force defensive change of the match. And Danny Murphy in midfield. And the irony of it was, it was Solskjaer who Hoopier accidentally kicked when he got injured, and it was Solskjaer who, in typical fashion, scored the late goal. Just as he did here in the FA Cup last season against Liverpool, and of course in the European Champions final. In the meantime, the sad figure of Hoopier is back on his way to the dressing room. That's a good ball. York is there. So too was Buck with the acrobatics. Now it's Giggs, Keane, York, Neville dummied it, Beckham. Oh, and Solskjaer is coming in again, and Sonder Vestervelt just got an arm out to turn it round for a corner. Beckham's cross, and Solskjaer was coming in. Sylvester's forward with Stam. This is Giggs back to Beckham. Awkward for the goalkeeper who did ever so well. Camera. Now Dietmar Harman. Danny Murphy is a long way away on the far side. He's only got Spitzer in support. He's gone past Stam. Good challenge by Irwin. And this is Beckham with York to his right. Beckham again. He delayed again with the shot. It's gone out on the far side for a Manchester United throw. This is Irwin. Solskjaer waiting in the middle. Here comes Ryan Giggs. Good movement again from uh, the champions. Giggs pulling that one 
away from the goal. Ryan Giggs, Solskjaer starts a run now, he's getting in behind on show unless they're careful, he has, and he's put it past the goalkeeper, but no pace on the ball because Vestervelt got something on it from Solskjaer, and Liverpool had a man on hand behind the goalkeeper. Solskjaer knows that was the chance to go 2-1 up for Manchester United because he gets in here initially behind the on show, but Jamie Carragher, I think it is there, who gets back behind his goalkeeper. That was Smeets there to camera. Oh, Vladimir Smeets says in here for Liverpool. Good save, Van der Howe. And Eric Meyer not composed. Well, the Dutch goalkeeper who retains his place at the expense of Mark Bosnich excels here. That's a good stop from Smeets there. Now then, the latest Michael Owen comeback is about to be witnessed by the 61,000 inside Old Trafford. GT Camera is the man who'll come off. Gary <laughs> Neville who went down, it was uh, Meyer with a rather clumsy challenge. But that's I think all it was in the referee's opinion. Doesn't see fit to take any action here. Now then, Murphy. Owen yet to get into the game, but he's in it now. Oh, and he's onside. Michael Owen through from Murphy. Ah, agonizingly wide, his first touch on his comeback. <laughs> Typical Owen in terms of the positional sense and how he got through. He's beaten the offside here, there's no doubt about that. Steers it away from Van der Howe, but away from the post by a fraction. What a story that would have been if it had gone in. So Manchester United have another let off to add to the two in the first half. Irwin. Heels for handball given. Dominic Matteo. Now then, we could have some late drama. It's 25 yards, it's David Beckham and Ryan Giggs going across. Are oh, Manchester United poised to snatch another late victory? Never, ever bet against it. Giggs is having a good look at this. The left footer from the angle, but Beckham comes in first and Beckham takes it. Now it's Giggs. Beckham's complaining that the wall wasn't 10 yards away. It's Giggs cross. Beckham again. And now Neville and Sylvester behind Andy Cole, Teddy Sherring, and what on earth happened there? Goodness me, it was cleared off the line. Teddy Sherring, I think he thought momentarily that he'd scored. It goes behind Cole, well, it's Jamie Carragher. Vestervelt comes to punch and only punches Son. Here's Beckham again or punch Son and the ball, actually, but he was grateful, the goalkeeper, for the cover on the line from Sheringham. Would you believe it? <laughs> Sheringham. Nearly the last-minute man again. Stab, it still can happen, but... Beckham, he's taken it out. Well, we're in the third minute of added time, the last minute, I think. And look at what happens here. Sylvester with the cross. There's Teddy Sheringham. But it's off the line. It's a wonderful clearance by Carragher. Berger. There was a man free on the left. Eric Meyer was unmarked there for Liverpool in the last stages. Here's Andy Cole. It's 
Dermot Gallagher checks the watch again. Beckham. This is it. A very good point for Liverpool in the circumstances. They played well, Gerard Houllier's team had to reshuffle. Manchester United, who went down to a goal by Berger, came back with an equaliser right on half-time. But despite Sheringham's last-minute effort being cleared away by Carragher, they dropped two home points. And Liverpool may take more satisfaction out of the match than the champions. Well, disappointed. Uh, we've dominated the game in terms of the team who's wanted to try and win the match. And when you're getting it against teams with a system that Liverpool set out with a two wide and one through, it's a difficult to break down. But I thought the, the continuity of passing was terrific at times. And we, we were the side that were trying to win the match. United equalised when you were down to ten men and you'd gone into the to the back four. Do you think it was a mistake not to put a, a substitute on straight away? No, because uh, I think Sam Yippie is a big part of our uh, team and we want to give him as long as possible to see if he could uh, make it come back on or come off the second half. And unfortunately, he couldn't. But I mean, we had to give him that chance. Probably a bit, I was wrong because I thought there was only three or four minutes left and uh, I took that risk. And the second is uh, Sammy he I assume that responsibility. I, I mean, that was my choice and nobody else. And I. Uh, Sami is important in, uh, in our team and if he had the chance to play the second half, um, I mean, I, I was ready to take that risk and uh, he needed some stitches, so we just needed to see whether it was possible for him to play or not. Liverpool seemed to have an almost limitless ability to soak up your attacks. Yeah, I thought they did. I mean, they're just sitting in there and they handled most of the crosses, albeit, you know, Oli Gunnar should have scored with his head in the first half maybe. The second half is through and it's cleared off the line and Teddy's hit one in the last minute. Ryan's had a shot cleared off the line. So in that respect, you know, we've got to that bit of the pitch well today. Mm. It's just getting the finishing part, which still come. You've been chosen for the last couple of games by Alex Ferguson ahead of Mark Bosnich. How do you feel about that? It's fantastic. I mean, uh, I'm enjoying every minute uh, of every game. So um, <clears throat> if he wants me to play, I'm, uh, I'm very glad with that and I will play. Michael Owen came on and almost immediately had a chance to win it for you. Yeah, the boy, the ball uh, just spin out at the at the very last uh, minute. But I think I think he did well. I mean, uh, he needed that kind of comeback, and on the first touch, he he, he nearly scored.